Adidas has signed a new creative partner, it's Beyonce. Now the company isn't sharing how much the deal is worth, but it is a long-term relationship that will involve shoe design, apparel, and meanwhile Adidas will relaunch Beyonce's brand Ivy Park. Very big for Adidas potentially. We've got Reggie Wade here to shed some light on it. Hey Reggie. Hey, how's it going? Good, well what do you think? I mean, I saw this and I thought, okay, we know that Kanye, and it depends whom you ask, some people say, hmm, wasn't so big, but we know that Kanye at least helped Adidas gain more buzz, so now maybe if the Yeezy era is ending, or at least if it isn't as big as it once was, they say, okay, let's bring on Beyonce. I think so. Uh, Nike's on top of the food chain, but Adidas is really the brand for the cool people, where the influencers want to be, oh. the Kanye's of the world, the Beyonce's of the world. So I really think it's a good strategy for Adidas. Like, all right, we can't take on Nike this way. Let's take them on that way. For the, the brand for the cool people. Yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs> now, see, what's interesting to me about this, we have uh, heard from various sports apparel experts that athlete endorsement deals aren't as valuable as they once were, that right. it's silly when brands pay a lot to get an athlete. Instead, Adidas is basically saying, okay, the one thing we will still pay a lot for, a celebrity. Yes. Yeah, but it's Queen B, and I'm long Queen B, so yeah. I mean, anything she touches, everyone's gonna love. So. I was going to say, so I mean, obviously Adidas struggles going up against Nike essentially on the shoe front, right? But athleisure is huge, and, it, and it's growing every year. So I mean, essentially, is this the way that Adidas is going to be able to take a bite out of Nike, right? Going for athleisure um, and athletic apparel. I think it is. I think we're gonna see a, a battlefront on the women's wear line because Nike has put huge investments in its women's line. And actually, women's growth is over-indexing the men's growth as far as Nike's going. So I think that's where it's gonna be fought out, fought out in the athleisure line. I think teaming with Beyonce is the right move. It's the biggest move. Yeah. I mean, I, really, we, well, we are we under, I, think Park. We, I think we've understated just a little bit how big a deal Beyonce is and, and also how much stuff she was able to sell when, when Ivy Park launched the first time around. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. I can't wait to see it. And hopefully we get some of the stuff on here and I, I think it's gonna be a big deal. Yep, and let's keep Reggie here. Reggie, we love talking about new sneaker collabs, always fun on the show. And right now we have the Vans David Bowie sneaker. Look at this. Oh, nice catch. That Thank looks like you. it could fit me. They that looks like my that. size. Like, I like this a lot. No, there was no practice. <laughs> um, but Reggie, we like to ask you your take because I feel like I trust you on which sneakers actually look good and which ones look cool. What do you think of the Vans David Bowie sneaker? I like them, not for me. Oh, no, I wouldn't good. rock the Vans David Bowie, but I think it's great. This is really the themed era in sneakers. We've seen WWE do a theme sneaker that actually sold out yesterday. Mm -hmm. We see the Walking Dead sneaker. So this is really the trend. So if you're a David Bowie fan, I think this is a good look. Like I said, I wouldn't wear it, but I think this is the right way to go with all these themes. It makes it fun, it makes it cool, and we also have apparel here. Look at this. And this so actually not comes out today, yes. But my question is, would Davey, David Bowie have approved of this? Right, you never know. You could never yeah. say. There's actually a red version. It's, I believe, the Ziggy Stardust version, oh. and it's a platform sneaker. Sneaker, very cool. A red leather up, a very bright, and a black midsole. And I think he would actually rock that. Well, yeah. You know, it's funny, know. whenever we do these collabs, and I often think, like, you don't have to obviously be a fan of the, it helps. But many people would just see the shoe and think this looks cool. Like yesterday you were wearing the Game of Thrones themed yes. with those Adidas sneakers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And someone could see those and not even know they were GOT. Now with this one though, look, well, it, it says, says Bowie, Bowie in yeah, big they text. Bowie. They could have put the, the lightning bolt, but right. not the Bowie. But that's what I'm saying. Like you wouldn't buy this shoe unless you are someone who goes around and says, I'm a huge David Bowie fan. Well, yeah. I, I just, how many Bowie fans are also like Vans? Consumers. I, I think right? a lot. Vans, how, how Vans came out. Maybe in, out. Vans came out in '66 with the skater culture. Um, Ziggy Stardust, aka David Bowie, was very big in the '70s. A lot of people, a lot of skaters, were wearing these shoes. So I think it's the right demographic they hit him with this. So maybe they're a little older now. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because I see dads wearing Vans. Yep. Like, mm, I don't exactly. see a dad wearing that shoe. No, well, I've seen, I, I yeah. gotta say. Well, All right, Reggie, thanks well, hip, so much. Hip Thank dads. you. Stuff hip on dads. Sneaker Watch. Yes, hip, hip dads.